This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. Welcome back to AFTV. I'm here with Turkish. 1-0 to the Arsenal. Sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds great. I'll take it. Three points is all that matter today. Bouncing back from that Liverpool game and that's what they did. Credit to them. I've said it before this season. We've had moments this season, the first three games, when we took L after L after L, not scoring a goal. Mm -hmm. International, we bounced back. Liverpool, Man United, Everton, away defeat, away defeat, away defeat. We bounced back. January window, getting knocked out of two domestic cups. We bounced back. The Liverpool game, albeit we all kind of expected nothing from that Liverpool game. There was yeah. some belief there because we are turning a corner in some way, shape or form. We didn't get the result, but we did today. And when you look at the six days, six points out of nine, bare minimum, I'm happy with that. Can't complain that. Six out of nine, competitive against Liverpool. We came out with a lot of credit. What message does these, do these last six days send to United who aren't playing this weekend? Have to, they have to stew on that Atletico Madrid exit. You've got Tottenham who are playing West Ham and that's West Ham's cup final. What message have we sent today? How did we feel when um, Tottenham beat City? Yes, How do we point. feel when United drop points three games in a row draws and Tottenham lost against Wolves and so on? That galvanised us, even yeah, though we good. wasn't playing those weekends. So what this does today, Man United don't have a Premier League game this weekend. They're looking at it like shit. Four points ahead, we still got our game in hand. Tottenham, I think they're playing tomorrow against West Ham. Two of the top four candidates. So hopefully both drop points in that game, if not one or the other. Mm -hmm. um, and we just keep it moving. Listen, these types of results, whether it's at the start of the weekend to put pressure on the rest or at the end of the weekend to, to take advantage. Arsenal have been doing their job this season yeah, against have, the teams yeah. that were meant to be doing our job against. People can pick out one or two after Burnley nil nil. I thought it was over for us top four, but it's not. We are yeah. favourites at this moment in time. We are in the ascendancy. Yes, out of the 10 games left, we've got six away and four home, which makes it a bit trickier. But at the end of the day, I think it's ours for the taking now. And that was a big one chalked off in terms of the away games. Look, lots of positives from today, and I'm sure we're going to hear them from the fans all day. But there was a moment around the hour mark where Arsenal controlled the game. Classy, easy, lovely, could have scored two or three. And then we just take our foot of the gas, or do Villa come into it? Is it Gerrard's changes? Is it trying to protect what we got? Are we relying on this defence? What is it? Why do we make those last sort of 30 minutes so nervy? I think when you're away from home and you've got a young side like this, um, the, the, the home team are always going to get 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes, mm -hmm. bare minimum. Even the Aston Villas, the Wolves and so on. Um, so I think it was, it, was, it was always coming. That first half on Villa, they was poor. Yeah, they were so shocking, poor, there was nothing, nothing to them. Mm -hmm. So I, I expected Gerrard to get them in, you know, lift them. And the second half started and there wasn't much of a lift. To be honest, we should have gone 2-0 ahead, if, I, if I'm honest yeah, with you. Have, yeah. But it wasn't to be. And in the end, listen, today, come into the game, I see Ramsdale's out, I see Martinelli's out. We already have Tommy Asu out. Yeah. Injuries in seasons gone by shows the lack of depth this side has had. Mm -hmm. Tommy asu has been out for about five, six, seven weeks now. Mm -hmm. We haven't missed him. No. Ramsdale was out today. We didn't miss him. Yeah, very um, good. Martinelli was out today. I think if Martin had played, we probably would have had more of a cutting edge, but we, did, yeah. we, we got the three points. We didn't miss him. Emil smith comes in. He's been a credit to us this season. Top goal scoring midfielder in the league. So slowly but surely, I saw a start in 11 take shape, form and a connection. And now I'm seeing backup players that we once thought they, they ain't going to cut it, like a Cedric, coming in to do a job. Mm -hmm. Credit has to go to Arteta. I've been very critical of Arteta over the season. Yeah, I'm critical in times of that needs to be critical. I'm, I give praise when praise is deserved. And right now, he deserves a lot a lot of praise. Um, I've got to mention the fans and the belief. Yeah. I remember the first year United Emery came in, Fulham away, and we was all singing, we've got our Arsenal back. That was more tongue-in-cheek, yeah. but it yeah, was used yeah. by opposition fans, so, you know, yeah. oh, look at them, cute, oh, they think they've got their... Now, what I see in there, what I feel, I haven't been to many away, I think it's my fifth away game this season. Mm -hmm. It feels very different to the last two, three, four, five years. Mm -hmm. It feels like there's a belief and not just a tongue-in-cheek belief. It's you saw that in the celebrations at the end when the players came over and really, really soaked it in, the Arsenal fans singing and Arteta enjoying it as well. Yeah, listen, I'm not going to... Let me make a disclaimer. I'm not comparing Klopp and Arteta, I'm not comparing Liverpool and Arsenal, but there was a time... Yeah, get when, that in there. Cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was a time when Klopp came in and he was doing all of these things, you know, in front of the crowd yeah. and the players would come over in losses or draws or tight wins mm -hmm. and it was building a belief it was outside looking in a lot of Arsenal fans United City etc looking laughing saying the same thing they did to us when we were singing we got Arsenal but oh look at them yeah. you know team spirit all of that but in the end that was the the, the base, the foundation to build off. Then they added real, real quality in, in the needed positions and look mm -hmm. at them, look at what they are. It's the team we're trying to catch one of two. Yeah. So again, disclaimer, I'm not saying Arteta is club, I'm not saying Liverpool are Arsenal, but at least there's something there for us fans to believe in again. That's mm -hmm. the bare minimum I want for us. Yeah. 
I'm, we ain't got a divine right to win the league or win the Champions League. Yeah. But I think we've got a divine right to challenge, to compete. We pay a lot of money. We, we support this club home away. We've got a global, global fan base. We've got an owner that's in the top 10 richest in the world. The bare minimum is compete, challenge and give the fans something to believe. And this season, we've had that. Top four, vital, 10 games to go. Let's do it. Love it, Tex. Cheers.